Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Arnold render settings. And uh, I have a scene here where uh, with the tank and I have changed the shader to have this um, uh, bright orange and we have some reflection on the ground along with some diffuse as well. And uh, we have an interactive preview of our scene. And let's do render again. And uh, we have uh, an interactive preview of the scene, and we're going to take a look at the various uh, render tabs that we have available for us. So the first one is the main tab, and this is where you can specify which objects you want to include in the render, which objects you want to exclude. You can force certain objects to be matte, you can uh, override shaders, and you can add add shader override, which we're going to talk about in a separate video. And uh, same goes for the lights. If you want to isolate specific lights or uh, exclude certain ones or include certain ones, you can do that here. And uh, the I'm going to pause this. The second tab is the properties. And this is where we have all the Arnold options that we want to use. And uh, we have the first one is the output. And uh, this is where we specify where we want to write the files to, the format. And uh, if we want to create any AUVs, uh, any AUVs, we do that here. And uh, we have this clamp uh, sample values uh, option. I generally check this uh, on and set it to clamp everything to two. And this helps reduce the fireflies. If you get super bright pixels, uh, this definitely helps reduce that. The second uh, tab is where we have all the sampling controls for Arnold. And then the third one is the ray depth uh, to control the global illumination and the reflection. And the next one is the motion blur. If we have any motion blurs uh, in the scene or camera motion blur, this is where we turn that on. Uh, this texture, we're going to uh, leave this as the default for now. And this is where we control the caching and the generation of the TX textures. Uh, which is done automatically by uh, by Arnold, and we're going to have a separate video to learn more about how we can generate TX textures uh, from command line. The system is where we can control the bucket size, and if we want to override the render number of threads being used, and I'm actually going to reduce the number of threads in this case, and uh, we can uncheck the progressive rendering, which starts at a uh, lower uh, settings than the one we have here and incrementally uh, increases the render settings to um, uh, to reach the final quality and this helps to get a faster preview of the render and uh, we're going to leave all these uh, as the as the default and we're going to have uh, probably have separate video to go in depth into uh, some of these. The uh, There is these two options here for the license if you don't have a license you can uh, still do renders with Arnold. They will just leave, uh, will just add watermark uh, saying Arnold. And you can choose to either uh, fail, abort on license fail if you don't have a license, or you can also skip the license check um, all at once. If you know that you don't have a license, this may save a few seconds. And then for the diagnostics, this is where we can debug the various things about the render, and uh, we're going to be talking about that in separate videos as well. The main focus for this video is to talk about the sampling, and especially in the mainly the ray depth. So right now we have <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the ray depth uh, for the diffuse set to 1, and for glossy as well. And I'm going to set them to 0, both of them. And I'm going to re-render. And you can see that uh, by changing that, we don't have any more uh, reflection. We don't see a, the reflection of the tank on the ground. And we're only getting reflection from the environment. And remember in the shader videos, I mentioned that uh, there is the reflection of any lights. And that's called direct specular. And anything that is in reflection that's happening between the objects like the ground reflecting the tank that is in direct specular. And right now the reason it is uh, black is because we don't have any depth for the glossy. And if we set this back to one, we, you can see we have, we're getting reflection of the tank on the ground. And uh, same goes for the diffuse. Right now we're not getting we're not getting 
getting any global illumination on the scene. And if I set this to one, we're getting uh, we're gonna get global illumination on the tank itself and and interacting uh, on between the ground and the tank and stuff like that. And uh, the the controls to control the option to control the quality of the noise for these two options here are uh, the diffuse and glossy correspondent. So if I set this to zero for both of them, <clears throat> the these three options, the camera, AA, the diffuse, and glossy are the most important ones to control the quality of the image. And if I set this to zero, <clears throat> pardon me, it will not change anything on the render itself because the reason for that is because we don't have any diffuse or glossy um, uh, depth. Uh, they're both set to zero. And the only thing that's happening right now that's being used is the camera AA. And this is what controls the overall quality of the image. So if we have noise that we want to solve at this point, we simply can increase the uh, quality of the render settings. Now you can see we have a lot of noise here and a lot of noise here as well. And as we increase the render settings, the render time is going to go higher, of course, and <clears throat> it's going to produce cleaner render. So let's hit render again. And you can see now we have a lot less noise in these areas using three samples. And I'm going to go to the um, uh, glossy and I'm going to turn on uh, the reflection. And now we should have uh, one depth. And the reason for that uh, we don't have any reflection now is because there is no samples. And I need to set this to at least one. And you can see now we're getting reflection off the tank uh, uh, on the ground. And this this reflection quality is mainly driven by this uh, by this option here. And I'm going to increase uh, set it to 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 uh, increase the um, to reduce the noise of the reflection. And the higher the number, the, clean, the, the cleaner the result is going to be and the slower the render. And same goes for the global illumination where we can introduce one bounce of GI. And I'm going to set this to one as well. And this will start introducing global illumination in, in the scene here. So we can see we're getting a global, we're getting indirect illumination happening on the tank, and the the higher the value of the diffuse samples, the cleaner the result is going to be, but the slower it is. And you can see it's much cleaner now. And what uh, the what the depth is going to do now is if we increase this, it's going to increase the number of bounces. So let's say we have a sphere, for example, here that has reflection as well. The tank is going to reflect, the, uh, the ground is going to reflect the sphere, uh, sorry, the ground is going to reflect the tank, and then the tank is going to reflect the sphere. And the in order to get the reflection of the sphere mirrored uh, on the ground, we'd have to increase the glossy reflection to more than one because the ray needs to hit the surface of the tank and then bounce again. And if we set this to one, it's going to only do one bounce. So the ground will only reflect directly the tank or directly the sphere. But if we give it the chance to bounce one more time, it will be able to traverse uh, more than uh, and, and more than into more than one object. So it's going to hit the tank and then the sphere and so on and so forth. And the higher the bound, the number of bounces, the slower the render time is going to be. And same goes for the diffuse. If we need uh, multiple uh, global illumination bounces, we need to, especially for our interior scenes, we need to increase this and the higher the number, the slower the, the, uh, the render time is going to be. And we also need to increase the number of samples to solve all the noise issues. So basically, if um, uh, if you have um, any reflection or diffuse bounces, uh, it's very important to set these two options. I personally first uh, start by setting the proper, um, finding the proper camera uh, samples, the AA, and then depends on the depth of these uh, of the diffuse or glossy. I would start increasing the samples of the diffuse and glossy 
uh, individually. And I have a separate uh, video where I'm going to talk about these uh, uh, these options in details and show the effect on render time. And uh, this way it will help you guys decide how to set these options. And uh, I think um, that covers pretty much all everything we needed to start doing uh, some rendering in Arnold. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.